Since I had my internet upgraded to gigabit internet, I have been making videos consistently for international students, people living in Canada, and people moving to Canada. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that little red subscribe button. It really helps me continue making videos and helping people around the world. Today I'm gonna to answer a very popular question and that's will you get a job if you go to university in Halifax? I've been getting several forms of this question. Will I get a job if I go for an administration course at Dalhousie and then I graduate in 2022? Will I get a job in Halifax? If I come, is, okay, I have to tell you, there is never going to be a job guaranteed for you anywhere unless you know somebody who is going to just outright hand you a job, whether that's your parent or a close family friend. So anywhere you go in the world, you are not going to have fantastic employment opportunities for your desired job position, but you will always have employment opportunities in Canada, whether that's Halifax, whether that's somewhere else, if you look at the unemployment rate, when it's really bad, it hovers around 10 to 15%. Maybe if it's incredibly awful, it hovers around 20%. So use your common sense. All you have to do to be employed, and not in your desired field, but to be employed, is to be better than probably less than one-tenth of everybody else. Can you be the nine out of 10? If you can, you're probably going to get a job. That is the most simple way to put it. I know it's intimidating coming to Canada. I understand it's difficult to just think you're going to obtain a job, but you are. You are going to obtain a job. If you come here and you go to university and you don't have the false idea that there's just going to be a job waiting for you at the end, then you will get a job. You need to be proactive from you know year one in university, thinking about what you want to do and how you're going to do it. And even if you're not taking the first steps towards applying to a job in first year university, you need to be taking up the steps to improve your reputation. Since I was 14 years old, I wasn't making videos, well, actually I was making videos, but other than just making videos, I was doing my best to get featured in the press. I would send uh, you know, emails out to hundreds of news outlets when I was doing something silly as a kid. No one reported on me, but eventually, when I became 16, 17 years old, and I was doing radio, a couple of things got mentioned on online blogs and news sites because I was so persistent. I was crazy, I was obnoxious. Now, when you're coming to Canada, you need to do the same thing if you, and more than what I did, if you want to have a job by the end of it. The second you get into your program, if you're not at least trying to befriend your professor or trying to find out more about them and how they got to their position, not because you're you know creepy and slimy, but because you literally want to find out how they did it. Show a genuine interest, like how did you get this professor job? How did you, you know, how did you get here? Chances are they have a PhD, okay. But before then, where do they work? If they're teaching you about the field you want to study in, where are the best places in Halifax? Chances are, if someone is teaching you about that topic, you're gonna be able to find a job in that city there as well. And a lot of people will disagree with me, they're gonna say no, it's difficult. Yeah, it's difficult, but weasel your way in like nobody else does. Be persistent, be annoying, and you will get a job, okay? It doesn't matter what you're doing, engineering, accounting, computer science, IT, no matter what you're doing, you will get a job. There's opportunities for all those things in Halifax if you want the answer to that, and there is no guaranteed job opportunity waiting for you at the, end of the, at the end of the road. But chances are, if you're going for a university degree, you have up to four years or longer. And if you're going for a college degree, you have two years. Maybe you're doing a one-year program. You're really going to need to hustle. But meet as many people as you can. If you send five emails a day, after you know just a little while, you're going to be sending hundreds of emails a month. Okay, you send hundreds of emails a month for a year, you're sending thousands of emails. If you're sending thousands of emails and you know, you're writing these emails correctly, which is why I stress the point, you should learn how to speak and write well, you're gonna be able to get a job. Someone's just gonna say, well, I have an opening, or this guy's asked me 10 times, or just be persistent. Don't ask me if, am I gonna come to Halifax? Is there gonna be a job waiting at the end? Of no, there isn't. But if you push and you're persistent, it's gonna be harder. A lot of these jobs that you're gonna to get today are gonna to be phased out in 10 or 20 years. You have to be innovative. Teach yourself, expand your opportunities and your horizons. Chances are if there's an industry or a sector in Halifax, like there is an IT sector, there is an engineering sector, because we need these jobs everywhere, you're gonna be able to get a job. If 
you to self-development in terms of literal concrete self-development. I don't mean read Tony Robbins. I mean learn how to speak English really well, uh, learn how to write really well, learn how to be charismatic. If you're coming here, you're not very confident. Learn to be confident. Learn to insert yourself. Uh, be polite to other people, but definitely do those things and learn about opportunities. Be very opportunistic. Keep your ears open. Never shut it off. You're on the bus. Listen. Somebody's talking about an IT job. Turn over. Talk to them immediately. Don't think about it immediately. I don't, I don't care where your comfort zone lies. It's not about that when you're going to get a job and you're, you're going to support yourself or your family. You need to do everything you can. And once you've done that, you will get a job. My name is Nader Nader Najad, and I hope this video was helpful to you. I just wanted to let you in on that mentality and, and, and give you a little bit of hope, you know, but also be realistic. You're not just going to get a job like that, no matter where you go. Even if you go in Toronto, you're going to have a lot of competition too. So you may get a job because there's a lot of job opportunities available, but you may not get the job that you want. You may be more likely, potentially, to get the job that you want in Halifax. You may, you know, sacrifice the amount of jobs that are available, but you may be able to get a job. So, I'm definitely, definitely, 100% sure that you're going to get a job if you follow those tips. And I know they're not the most concrete thing in the world, but if you do them, you will achieve them. Anyway, thanks for watching.